What's up everybody, Serial Entrepreneur Jordan Steen here. And in this video, we're gonna go through a really awesome tool that I like to use when I'm going out trying to find new clients for my social media marketing agency. All right, this is a tool that a lot of people aren't even aware exists. And what it does is it actually tells you what the business's SEO stance is, what their website is kind of performing like, how it performs with regards to how it ranks on search engines, all of that information that's super important in convincing a customer that they need to work with you, that they need your services. This is an easy way, seriously, just to walk in and say, look, you're not showing up on search engines. Businesses like yours have to show up on search engines because this is where people start their search for your type of service online. So if you wanna watch how this tool works and get access to this tool, we're gonna give it to you here in this video and we'll even talk to you about how to use it, what you need to know when you're reading through the document, and then how to incorporate it into your marketing audit. So stay tuned, here we go. Like I said in the intro, we're gonna talk about a really cool tool that shows some information about SEO, your website, all of that really cool information that you need to be able to take into a potential customer and talk them through the reasons why they need your services, okay? The cool thing about this product is, is it's free. It's completely free to use. All you have to do is have the business information, which it's open to the public to find. So you don't have to do any really hard work and it spits out a really good looking uh, report basically for you about that business's online presence. So let's go ahead and sh minimize this screen and we're gonna show you this tool. And don't worry guys, um, if you can't see this like link right here or if you don't feel like writing it down or can't write it down right now, we are going to leave the link in the description so that way you can use it. Um, but what I wanna do is kinda show you how to use this tool and then the different pieces that you can see right here that we're going to discuss. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find a website to do a SEO report card for. So if I'm looking for clients and I narrow one down and say I'm gonna do attorneys in Atlanta and say I want to do something for a website or for a business in Atlanta. This guy has 31 reviews. Um, he's in Atlanta. Let's see what his website looks like. Okay, he's got a decent website, way too much going on in my opinion, but it is a decent website. So this might be someone that we could actually work with. So we're gonna take his URL and we're gonna put it right here in this URL. I'm just gonna put blah, blah, blah. This is like marketing information. This is how UpCity tries to get in contact with you. So you don't really need to enter in any real information here because it does give you the the report card on the next screen. If you want an emailed copy of it, obviously enter in your prop, like your correct email, but we're just gonna type one, blah, 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 at gmail.com. We're gonna type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, so that's my phone number. This is the URL we're working with. He is a criminal defense attorney in Atlanta. If we hover over this, we'll get the keywords he likes to use, Atlanta criminal defense lawyer. So, yep, that's what we're going to use. Atlanta criminal defense, <clears throat> defense lawyer. All right, and we're going to take the same thing right here, and we're going to type it into another tab and find a competitor of his, Atlanta, Atlanta criminal defense lawyer, the law office of Judy Kim, and she's got 173 reviews. So we're gonna guess she's probably a criminal defense attorney. Yep, criminal defense. So we're going to copy her URL, and now we're gonna put it in this tool right here. All right, we're gonna click no here. This is asking if they want you, basically they're just trying to sell you stuff. All right, so now all we're going to do is click create my report. Boom, we have a report. now. There are a couple things. Sometimes these take a little bit to load. So these like little graphs, they're just pulling data. So it takes a little bit. Like right here, you can see there's no like bar charts here, but when the data pulls, you'll see bar charts. So we're gonna go through this. We'll come back to a couple areas while it pulls data. So what we'll do is we'll do an overall just view of the report. And then we'll kind of start to figure out what pieces we want to include in our marketing audit, all right? And so what we're gonna do is really figure out, okay, number one, what is their overall score? It says it's a 91, which is good, but just because it says it's a 91 doesn't mean that there aren't areas that need improvement. 
So what we're going to look at is the number of backlinks. So we can easily take this into them and say, look, your, your competitor is just showing up in a lot more online publications um, or a just really in a lot more places online. They have a lot more people sharing their content and promoting their content. So, you know, I really want you guys to consider maybe adding more links into your backlinking structure. Does your website have links from more than 100 unique websites? So they're probably using a lot of the same websites. They could diversify a lot of the sites that they're, you know, sending their content to. Because that's all backlinking is when you have, when you see sites that have like a ton of links and they're just a local business, all they're doing is sending their content, their blog articles, they're buying backlinks on other sites and they're getting it bookmarked on other sites that that's all they do. You want to make sure that you actually, you know, suggest something like, you know, adding more links to their over overall link structure or link practices that they incorporate into their SEO campaign. So we can see the data up here starting to pull up. We're going to go down until it actually pulls up. So on-site analysis, and this website actually looks like they have a lot of really good data about their site. They're taking care of their SEO. They're taking care of their website. So as far as performance goes with regards to their content being sourced on search engines, and as far as their website, having credibility, having a decent download time, you know, 0 0.40, that's great. Um, having a domain that's older than a year. Yes, you know, they, they do have a domain that's at least 25 years old. So that's great. They have indexing on all of the different SEO platform or search engine platforms. So that's great. So overall, again, their summary is about a 90. It actually went up a 94 because more data pulled in. So you can see here too, they're actually showing up above their competitor on search engine results. Their competitor, you know, has a lot more backlinks, but they're showing up in two, two, and two for the search for the keyword phrases Atlanta, Atlanta criminal defense lawyer, where their competitor who had a lot more reviews, so maybe they're just doing a better job at reviews, isn't showing up as high in search engine results. So let me show you what this would look like for a, uh, really for a company that isn't doing it well. And so you'll get these that are doing it well. You'll find your areas where you can maybe talk to them. You know, if you're going more into talk about social media marketing with them, then this is just extra meat for you to add to that audit that says, hey, you know, but these are all things you can do. This is extra value you can add into the audit <clears throat> that's going to make them, you know, maybe question the person that they're that they're working with. And, you know, you say, look, you guys just aren't sourcing out to enough uh, uh, enough websites that promote your content. So you could definitely consider adding more um, websites into your backlinking campaign. Uh, a lot of the time you'll see that this area is completely wrong. So let's just pull up a bad website because that makes it easier to show the example for. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We'll do criminal defense attorney. We're just going to choose one that doesn't have like a ton of reviews because those are usually smaller firms. Um, this has no reviews, so this will be perfect probably. Yeah, this is a great site to do one for. So let's do this. This will be fun. Now what we're going to do is we're going to enter in this business information. So we're copy here. Paste Atlanta Criminal Defense Attorney Competitor Domain. We're just going to use our friendly buddies over here that we just did one for. Now we're going to create a report for this one. And this one will be a lot more fun to look at because I promise you there's going to be a lot more wrong with this. And you can see how it would be easy to take something like this into a into a potential client that needs really really needs marketing um, and get their get their business now. And again, that doesn't mean that with this business right here that you can't get their business. You just have to be able to sell the points that they're hurting in. Which this business and there's other tools out there. So I guess what I do want to say is, guys, if you're watching this video so far and it's been helpful and this is a cool tool that you're going to be able to use and you want to see more tools like this video, let me know in the comments below. Say yes in the comments below if you want to see more tools that I use to land clients to run my business. We're going to go through a little series where we talk about tools that I use for my marketing agency. Um, so I want to go through these tools, obviously, with you guys. So if you want to see more tools, again, just leave a comment below. All right, so this one should be done rendering or at least most of the way done. Good God, they bought a lot of backlinks. <laughs> so they're running SEO apparently, but it doesn't look like they're doing a great job because they're only showing up 23rd. See, that's the thing. Backlinks aren't everything. You can't just rely on, you know, black hat SEO strategies or even white hat SEO strategies where you're buying quality backlinks 
and using that to promote your content. Because as you can see, they're showing up 23rd compared to our competitor who we just typed in who's showing up first 10, 10, right? They're showing up 23rd, 14th, and 14th. So this isn't good. They're not even breaking the top 10, which means they're not on the first page of search engine results. This is something, again, that when you mention this, when you show this little section to a business owner and say, look, you're not showing up in search engine results. Here's the thing. You've bought more links than this competitor has. You've bought 13,636 backlinks to your site. That's great. You're working on SEO. But as you can see, the competitor has a third of the links that you have and they're showing up better online. So what does that say? It says a lot about the content being created, right? People aren't actually using your content where they might be actually using this other competitor's content. But not only that, we, you could be buying from bad sources, um, but overall, there just needs to be more work on your SEO strategy, on you know making sure that your website is fine-tuned, that the structure of your website is sound, that you're creating regular content that actually gets traffic and people don't just bounce off of instantly. So here's something really cool too. The on-site analysis, okay? Is your main keyword Atlanta criminal defense attorney in the title of your page? Well, if we go to their page and we hold over their tab, it says Atlanta criminal defense lawyer, Georgia federal crime defense attorney. So we used Atlanta criminal defense attorney. That isn't, if we use lawyer, it actually might be. It is in the body, so that's good. Um, the word attorney was in the criminal defense thing. So sometimes you do want to do a double check. So they have criminal defense attorney, they have a criminal defense lawyer. So it just didn't read them both together, but the keywords are there. So I would say this is actually something you wouldn't want to focus on. Um, they have it set up. Good thing is they do have a great website accessibility speed. So a great download speed. So that means it loads very fast, but with how poor the website looks like you know, we wouldn't expect this to take a long time to load because there's no design to this site at all. There's, you know, a basic image here and that's really it. Web development would be another thing that you'd want to talk to them about. So right here, uh, they don't have any authority at all whatsoever. So it might mean that they don't have any, like they might be a new business, which again, that tells you they're a new business, which they could definitely use your marketing. Um, current indexing, they are being indexed on all social platform or on all search engine platforms, so that's good. So overall, they have a lot of things that you can help them with. Really just showing them even just this little section here, the rank analysis and how they're not showing up on the first page of Google, that's going to do a lot of help, you know, showing them that they don't have enough unique links. They're doing a ton more links, but you know, and they're but they're actually doing a third more than their competitor and their competitor actually shows up higher in search engine results. So it's just a really cool tool to put some visual aids together for your potential clients that you're going to market to. So essentially with this tool, what you'll wanna do is before you ever go in to sell them anything or pitch them a proposal, you always need to have that info meeting first where you find out a bunch of information about their business, their marketing efforts past and present, um, what their budget looks like, uh, you know, what their goals are with their marketing campaigns, what ideas they have that they've been wanting to do but haven't been able to. You want to find all that information out in the first meeting. But to get the first meeting, you have to have something of value, right? You have to give them something to get in the door with them. So that's where you actually want to take in that digital marketing audit or you go in and you say you're going to do an hour-long strategy session with them. So that's where you take tools like this or resources like this to say, okay, so, you know, as far as your SEO strategy goes for 2018, you know, we looked at your at your web presence so far and these are the areas that you can make some improvements um, on backlinks um, you can even do kind of like an SEO report card and what you would do is you would take their website put it into keyword planner and then it will show you keywords that they're actually putting into their website um, so you can actually see okay well you know these are the keywords you're using we recommend focusing more on these keywords here's why here's the traffic for these keywords this is why your seo is not doing so great but there's just a bunch of different ways that you can sell people with this tool i um, mean you definitely want to include it in your marketing audits or in your consultations or strategy sessions that you have with potential clients that's basically it for this video guys i hope that it was enjoyable for you i hope that you get a lot of use out of this tool again if you want to see more tools like this just say yes in the comments below and we'll make sure to get more tools like this on my channel um, outside of that guys in the bottom right hand corner you're going to see that subscribe button make sure you hit that button down there so that way you can get all of our updates we'll actually hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell so that way you can get all of the updates uh, about videos that we release on our channel. We're about to start releasing four videos every week. We're already releasing three videos a week. 
We're about to up that to four videos a week, so more content coming to you, more awesome tools and resources for you to build your business, build your marketing agency, your personal brand, whatever it is that you're trying to do online. So outside of that, last thing I wanna say, guys, is make sure you check that description below because there are always tons of free resources uh, are linked to our website, serialentrepreneur.academy. You know, where we do digital marketing training, we teach people how to start six-figure agencies. Um, there's free training for Facebook ads. There's training, all kinds of different training. Just check out down there. There's resources. There's tools we use. All of it's free. So make sure you're definitely checking that area out. Outside of that, guys, I'm going to get out of here and I will see you on the next video. So until next time, Serial Entrepreneur out. Later. Ready to start living the six-figure work wherever, be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.